Mice in your house? You feel kind of violated and invaded when you realize that there are mouse, there's been a mouse in your house, whether that mouse has, I don't know, eaten through the bag of loaf bread or left a little evidence that they were on your kitchen countertop, running around on your dishes, helping themselves to whatever crumbs they can find. Well, we want to get rid of the mice, but we'd rather not kill them. We just want to scare them away. Well, Grandpa Gus helps us do just that. This is called mouse repellent. It's four scented burlap pouches and then an eight ounce spray. The spray and the pouches are a very pleasant aroma, but it's something the mice cannot tolerate. And when they're around it, they want to be anywhere but near it. And so they will make way away from this, from this smell and this aroma. Now, when you buy this tonight, you're going to receive the four scented burlap pouches and the eight ounce spray. All of this working together really beautifully. Because let's think about this. What are, there your, what are your other options? These horrible traps. Are these set? These are set, aren't they? I know, watch my fingers, right? These things scare the life out of me. Okay. I'm going to use my card. It's probably safer. Look at that. You want to have that come down on your finger? No thanks. And I'm sorry, I know you want to get rid of the mice, but that just seems a little inhumane to me. Or you can use these, these chemicals or these sticky pads or all this business, or you can just put out Grandpa Gus and it scares away the mice. Now, we've got a great video put together by our friend Erica Swineford, who brings this product to us, and she's going to show you just how easy this is to use. Let's take a look and listen. Hey, everybody. I don't know if you've ever had a mouse in your house, but we have here, and I'm not afraid to admit it, because no matter how clean we keep our home, we still have the things that mice really want, which are food, warmth, and shelter. And the solutions available to us in the past were solutions that you use after the mice are already in your house. So instead, we like Grandpa Gus. Like Grandpa Gus's entire line of products, this uses essential oils like peppermint and cinnamon to really disrupt the strong sense of smell that mice have. So I take my spray and I use it all around the entry points of my home, like garage doors, regular doors, baseboards, the edges of rooms where mice frequently travel. And then I take these cute little burlap bags and I put them in enclosed areas like underneath my sink, where our garbage bin goes, and even places like cars, sheds, pantries, basements. Even if you have an RV or vacation home, you can leave these behind there as well. They're perfect. And that's all there is to it. If you notice that your pouches start to lose their smell a little bit, just recharge them with a few pumps of your spray and you're good to go. The mice don't like it. That's why we love it. And I hope it's a great solution in your home, just like it is in ours. Joining us now live via phone is Erica Swineford. Erica, welcome back. It's always good to have you with us. Thanks, David. Thanks for having me. It's always a pleasure, my friend. And you and I presented this item before, and I'll tell you, already very popular tonight. In fact, we've already taken orders for 800 orders. The aroma I'm smelling here is peppermint. What else is in there? Yes, yeah, so like all of Grandpa Gus's products, this uses essential oils. And this one specifically is peppermint oil and cinnamon oil. So my daughter said it best when I first used this in our garage. She came out one day and said, it smells like Christmas out here. <laughs> and that is kind of what it smells like. So, but while we love it, um, cinnamon and peppermint oils to mice act as sensory deterrent. So we've always heard the expression three blind mice. And it's true, mice smell with their noses and not necessarily their eyes. So this really disrupts that sense of smell and how they travel along your baseboards and into those entry points so that they don't want to come in your house anymore and they're going to go find another house to go in instead. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be they're going to beat feet out of yours and we have no reorder on this item tonight. Everyone is really excited about it. We we're, we're thrilled to have it back in stock. In fact, now we've taken orders for a thousand of these are gone now. Pop this in your outdoor grill. Think about all the food that they can feast on in there. Um, there have been stories where um, mice will uh, build a nest in the uh, glove box of your car. They'll get Absolutely. in through the engine, all those areas. This is quick and easy, isn't it? It is, you know, and th that's a great point. We've had a mouse in our car before. It tore apart all of our napkins, 
it left little droppings everywhere. And that's what I love about this because unlike the other options out there, which deal with mice after you already have them in your home or in your car or in your shed, you know, they've already destroyed things. They've already left their droppings behind. They've already, you know, just caused destruction and they may have already been breeding. So with Grandpa Gus, it's a totally different approach. It's proactive and it really keeps the mice from wanting to come in in the first place. And that's why we love it. Well, this is a perfect way for you to go and put these in areas where ordinarily mice might find an entry point into your home and they'll find a quick exit out of your home. And it's a very humane way to do this. We're not hurting the mice. We're not killing the mice. We're just warding the mice away. And that's what makes this so important. Now, these little burlap pouches are amazing. You get four of them. I know you only Oh, here's the fourth one. There it is. So you get four of these. When you need to refresh these, you can just use the spray bottle. Is that right? That's right, and they're great for places, enclosed areas, so underneath your sink um, where your garbage pail goes or your recycling, in cars, in sheds. If you have a vacation home or a summer home and you're looking to close it up soon at the end of the season, these are great to leave behind, and they'll hold on to that scent. And then when you need to recharge them, just give them a few pumps of the spray, and that's it. You're good to go. And that's what makes this so special and so important. So many people now are taking advantage of this tonight. And with no reorder, lots of people are stocking up. The pouches come in this little, um, in this little uh, bag here. So you can keep them fresh inside there as long as you leave the bag sealed. Is that right? That's right. And that's vacuum sealed when you get it. So it will be good until you open it. And then the spray, you're getting a full eight ounce bottle. So you, I use that all around baseboards, um, you know, underneath my garage doors underneath entry points like my mudroom door, my basement door, anywhere where mice could find a way into your home, it's great to spray there because this really acts like, almost like pepper spray to mice. They can't stand the smell of it, but we love the smell. <laughs> exactly, this is peppermint and cinnamon. Your, your little girl's exactly right. It smells like Christmas time in here. Right. <laughs> and if you wanna spray the inside of the garbage pail or garbage bag, again, it smells so fresh, it smells so nice. It smells like you have been eating candy canes and baking cinnamon cookies. That's, That's what right. it smells like. <laughs> so we're going to invite everyone to stay on the line here. We've got well over 2,000 gone and another how many people? Over 1,000 people on the phone lines. Erica, a pleasure to have you back with us. Thanks for being with us. Thanks so much, David. Happy Thursday. You too, sweetie. Bye-bye now. Hey, we're less than 10 minutes away from the final presentation of the day of 